Your student account gives you access to all the online resources available through King County Library System, even without an all access or physical library card. It's available for you to use 24 seven and you'll never have fines or fees. To start, visit kcls.org students and click on elementary school students. If you're not sure what your student account number is, click on find your student account login. The login at the top of the page up here is only for items that you can check out from our libraries, such as books and DVDs, not for our online resources. Don't use this login button with your student account. Instead, you need to choose the online resource you want to use first, then log in later. I'll show you how in a minute. There are lots of online resources available from the library, so we decided to put the most useful ones on this page. The first link, Need Sources, such as databases for your homework or project, is going to show you a list of all the databases for kids. Databases are collections of reliable information and facts that can be difficult or impossible to find on Google. They're great places to find information for reports, and because the library buys them, you get to use them for free. The second link is where you can go to find an ebook to read or downloadable audiobook to listen to. The third link takes you to tutor.com, where you can get free homework help from tutors every day from 2 p.m. to midnight. The last link takes you to online magazines you can read for free. And at the bottom of the page are frequently asked questions. So check here if you have a question about your student account. Now we're going back to the top of the page and I'm going to click on need sources such as databases for your homework or project. I'm going to show you how to log in with the student account. So this page shows a list of databases. They're full of articles from encyclopedias, magazines, newspapers, and even videos that can help you with your research. The library pays for these databases, so you get to use them for free. That's why you'll see this little icon that tells you that you need a library card in order to log in. So I'm going to click on Britannica Library Children. As you can see, the next screen is telling me that I need a library account to log in. You'll see the same message for each resource that you click on from the student accounts page. Remember, if you're not sure what your student account number is, just click on find your student account login. Since I know mine, I'm going to enter it here, as well as my PIN in the next box, and your PIN is the last four numbers of your student number, and then I'm going to click on Submit. And now I'm in the Britannica database, which has the same information as the Britannica Encyclopedia, but it also includes things like videos. If you decide this isn't the right resource for your assignment, you can always go back to kcls.org students and explore the other resources. Or you can go to kcls.org, our homepage, click on Kids and Teens, and choose Kids Homework Help. That will take you to the same list of databases we were looking at earlier. Don't forget, you can contact Ask KCLS by phone, email, or chat if you're having trouble using your student account. Thanks for watching this video, and have a good school year.